Hi there, I'm Hockett, or Hawk if you're scared of the letter T. Today we're going to be talking about fashion. And before you say it, I know what you're thinking. Hawk doesn't know anything about fashion. He wears tank tops and junkrat shorts almost exclusively. And you're right. But these shorts were buy one get one for $14 at Hot Topic. And you think I could turn that down? Of course not. I'm a trash boy. Support the Activision and Blizzard strike, by the way, because yikes. Today we're talking about Dior, which might be a fashion company. I say might because I'm not really sure what this is. I used to watch Project Runway when I was younger, and I don't think it was ever this bad. Okay, it was bad sometimes, but this is on another level. I saw their advertisement for their collab collection with a guy named Peter, and I can't say it didn't catch my eye. If you want to look like all the condiments on a hot dog combined, this is the sweater for you. I'm not even joking when I say that these are literally some of the worst color combinations I've ever seen. Like, this is even worse than purple and green. Here we go, I was just talking about purple and green and they heard me. These literally look like veggie tails on LSD. And this is just the start. I clicked on their ad to see what else they had for sale and I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here. Are those dogs? Are they melting? Was this designed by a two-year-old? How long was this left in the bottom of a dirty laundry hamper that it grew this much algae? How much does this even cost? Oh, this is a joke, right? This sweater costs more than my camera. Honestly though, I went into the wrong line of business. If I knew I could design ugly clothing for thousands of dollars, let's just say I wouldn't be the trash boy anymore. I'd be the trash king. Seriously though, everything they're selling is just, the, the prices are bonkers. This t-shirt costs $950. I'm pretty sure you can buy an embroidery machine and make your own t-shirt for less than $950. How much is an embroidery machine? You can literally buy two embroidery machines and still have a little left over instead of buying this shirt. Also, I'm pretty sure I've seen these exact sneakers for sale at Big Five Sporting Goods for about $35, maybe? These colors aren't even cute. What do you pair them with? The hot dog sweater? Can you imagine someone walking down the street in the hot dog condiment sweater and these goofy sneakers only to find out that their outfit costs more than a low-end car? Sorry, I'm so focused on the prices. I'm salty. I just realized you can complete the silhouette with this craft single of a jacket. This man is just a block of cheese. Hi there, sir. Welcome to Burgers. If you're hungry, we'll feed you. What can I get for you today? Oh, hi. Can I get a cheeseburger? Sure thing, sir. I'll be right with you. Here you go, sir. One cheeseburger. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, excuse me, there's... there's a little man on this. That'll be $3,000, cash or credit. What?! Dior? What are you Dioring? These glasses are $600, and they just look like those paper 3D glasses that we all used to play around with in elementary school. Oh hey, this bag is perfect for the craft singles guy. I went on a magical journey and I found this jacket that's literally just a pocket. Also, why are so many of these things like exactly $3,000 or around that price point? It's either like $2,000 or $3,000. There doesn't seem to be a very like happy medium or an in-between. It's usually around there. These guys look like they're in a band. Call them the primary boys, cause they're dressed like first graders. I know I keep making goofs about the clothes, but like, do I really even need to say anything about these boots? They look like water shoes and rain boots had a child. A $2,000 child. So we've mostly been looking at the men's section and I feel like we owe it to look at what they have for the ladies. Already I'm getting some very Corella Deville vibes here. I really don't know what they were thinking with these. It almost reminds me of early 2000s clothing, like something you'd see at maybe Old Navy, but I'm not really sure. This almost looks too boring for Old Navy even. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It's just kind of busy and really in your face with uh, who the designer is. What's a long wallet? Oh, little pouches, okay. I see, I see. Don't talk to me until I've had my designer lunch. Okay, so these little card holders are the cheapest thing I've found on the site so far. They're $380, and it looks like they will hold two business cards or two credit cards. Okay, so this shirt kind of looks like a pajama shirt that I've seen for like the pajama shirt, like it's a set of a, a pajama set, you know? 
you know what I'm talking about, a pajama set, but it's hiding something. And also, I don't know what's going on with this pattern, but don't worry about that right now, because it's hiding something way more important. You would never... You would never expect what's on the backside of this shirt. Were you expecting that? Because I wasn't. I don't know what this shirt is for. I don't know what, like, instance you would wear it. Oh, it's only available in boutiques. I wanted to know how much it costs, but... I guess we're gonna have to physically go there to find out. I want you to try to guess how much you think these sandals cost. Have a good look at them. Absorb the information of these sandals. They're kinda ugly, kinda thick, if you don't mind me saying. How much do you think they cost? Because I don't think you'll guess how much they cost. They're over a thousand dollars. I I have no words. I don't know why these are a thousand dollars. I mean, I do know why they're a thousand dollars because they're Christian Dior sandals. But like, does that who buys this stuff? Is it rich people? I feel like it's rich people. I genuinely would like to know how many sales they make. Like, I'm actually really curious about that. And like, I'm curious about who's buying these things. Like. Is there a large amount of people that buy their clothing? Or is it just a couple people that buy a lot of things? I don't know. Also, I found out earlier today, about 20 minutes ago, that the guy who made the company, Christian Dior, he's dead. I thought he was alive. I thought he was, like, maybe in his 50s, but apparently he was born, like, in the early 1900s? I didn't know that, and I feel a little bad for calling him out on his clothing, which I think is very ugly, but also at the same time he didn't make it, so I feel a little bit less bad about that. I am really curious about how much this company is worth, though, because, like, they're selling really expensive, ugly things, but it's still really expensive things, and people seem to regard them pretty highly, so I, I kind of want to know how much they're worth. Okay, so Christian Dior was born in 1905, and he died in 1957. He was- he was in his 50s, I was right about that. But he was only 52, so... Yeah, he- he died though. He's not alive anymore. I thought he was alive, but I'm wrong. He's only worth 10 million dollars? Which is kind of surprising. I thought he was gonna be worth a lot more, given the prices of the things that are being sold. But maybe that's just him. What about the company? Okay. Alright. 89 billion dollars? That's a little bit more like it. 89 billion dollars. That's how much this company is worth and this is what they're putting out? They can't do better than this? 89 billion dollars. And this is what they have to show for it? I feel a little less bad about making fun of what they're selling and their prices knowing that they're worth so much money. I was kind of thinking about how I felt about this whole thing and how I felt about making a video about them. I wasn't sure if this was like unfair or like I was putting them down because I don't want to put you know artists down or anything like that that's rude that's mean you know and especially not starving artists or people that are having a hard time that wouldn't be good that's a bad thing to do you don't want to do that you want to lift people up but knowing that they're worth 89 billion dollars I don't really feel so bad about it anymore three thousand dollars for an ugly sweater do we really need more ugly sweaters worth that much money? Also though, I guess this is more targeted at rich people and not at people like me. So, I mean, I guess charge whatever you want. It's rich people. They don't know the difference. I didn't know they also sold makeup. This looks a little uncomfortable. I feel like that would like irritate your eyes a little bit. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't glue pearls to your face. I don't know how comfortable that will be. Okay, I can't take any more of this. If you like high fashion, don't let me stop you. Everyone's got different interests and that's okay. And if you're an artist out there and you're worried that what you make isn't good enough, just remind yourself that people are making this kind of stuff and selling it for thousands of dollars. Everyone's art is different. It all has value. You just have to find the right audience to appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to hang out with me and other cool people, there's a link to my private Discord in the description. We do game nights, Twitch streams, and other fun stuff, and we'd love to have you. Let me know what you think in the comments. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you had fun watching it. I have to go get ready to watch the movie Birdemic, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!